Welcome back everybody to more cheesing of Elder Ring today by popular demand. I'm unveiling my ultimate cheese build where all the parts of the build can be picked up using different cheese strats. It's gonna be the end of the video. And it's very very tanky, deals insane damage. I mean it's a cheese build, what did you expect? So, first of all I thought I'd talk a little bit about the setup of the character. Then I'd show you a boss fight. Then we're gonna have a look at all the items of the character and the stats of the character. And then lastly of course I'm gonna show you where to pick up every item. So. First of all, here you can see the setup. So right hand is this item here, which has a Bloodhound step as a war on it. I'm going to show you how to find that later on, how to get that. But uh, Bloodhound step, of course, is a very, very good defensive as a war where you get essentially a better um, dodge roll. It's, it's, it's super overpowered, so you, as long as you spam, keep spamming Bloodhound step and it only costs five mana, you essentially can't die with the character. So, very very good and the reason we have this in the right hand and on the left hand because if we had it in the left hand we can't use bloodhound step so we have it in the right hand left hand is the seal and then we have a couple of spells here first of all i'm gonna be casting black flames protection on myself why am i casting this well black flame protection gives you 35 percent less physical damage taken if you're doing this pve not pvp it's not broken pvp unfortunately but also uh, it comes with a downside 20 percent less healing from healing flasks i only use this if the bosses deal mainly physical damage which 99 percent of bosses do so almost always use this but sometimes don't okay then we're gonna summon of course we're cheesing everything what, what do you expect then golden bow I cast this one as Golden Bow do. Well, Golden Bow is just a good spell. It lasts for 90 seconds. It gives you more damage and you take less damage. What is not to like? Next up, we're gonna use Dragon Eyes. I have an entire video on Dragon Eyes if you're interested in that spell. So check out the uh, description down below if you're interested in that. And we're gonna use the Mimic Tear. I'm gonna show you how to pick that up later. If you don't know about the Mimic Tear, the Mimic Tear, of course, has everything that you have. And uh, we're gonna talk about that later on. But it's gonna be, needless to say, it's gonna be very tanky. Because we have less damage from the Black Flame Protection, less damage from the Golden Bow, less damage from a Talisman, which I'm going to show you later on. And also we have a really good armor. So we are hardly going to take any damage, and this is of course going to transfer to our tier Mimic, so it's just there as a tank, essentially. I mean, sometimes it deals damage, but it's mostly there as a tank. And we just want to focus on casting Dragon Eyes. And we're going to cast Dragon Eyes, and then we're going to cast Dragon Eyes. And this is going to be a common theme for all the fights in the game. <laughs> we cast Dragon Eyes. And uh, mostly we run away if something ever comes close to us. And uh, there, even our Mimic shipped in a little bit of damage. That's nice. It's nice of him. Uh, he, he, uh, we did take a lot of damage from Black Flame, because the Black Flame is not physical, I'm pretty sure. So that deals a lot of damage to us, but his, their normal attacks don't deal that. I feel like dealt a little bit of damage, actually. Got a little bit of damage, okay? And God's can do is down Ace Basil Lemon Squeezy. Next, let's have a look at the character. So this is the character, it's level 127. It has 47 vigor, 59 mind. Very important here with the mind and the vigor. Because we don't need that many stats. As you can see, the only offensive stat I really have on this character is going to be Faith and Arcane. And the arcane is also raised significantly by having this helmet, which gives us plus eight. So we actually don't have uh, too high stats, I think. In, in my personal opinion, mind is gonna be mind and vigor, most important things on this character for the defense. Dragon Communion Seal. I'm gonna show you how to get that later. Of course, upgraded this to plus ten, gives an incant scaling of about three twenty. Just uh, interesting to know. Then the Godskin Stitcher. Again, I'm gonna show you how to find this later. And the reason that we're doing this item is that we can put an Ash of War on it, and it has blood loss buildup, so it's a very good item to have on your Mimic. You can just use a Dagger, if you don't care about the Mimic's damage at all. That, that's another way of doing things, uh, because this actually weighs 7, I don't know if this kilograms or pounds or whatever, it, it weighs 7. And uh, there are lighter options for this, but this item is very, very good, and I, of course I have an upgrade to plus 25. By the way, Hopefully there's going to be another guide, like how do you upgrade these weapons to plus 25 and plus 10 very very quickly. There's going to be a guide down below, you can find all the somber stones in about 30 minutes. You can also google, there, there's more videos than mine. You don't have to watch mine if you don't want to. Just do it if you, if you want to, you know. That's a, an important piece here. Silver Tree Mask, I'm going to show you how to pick this up also. It gives us plus 8 arcane, so it's going to be the best helm. Uh, easily for uh, the... For 
one thing here. And also, Veteran's Armor. How do you get... Oh, I'm gonna show you that later. But Veteran's Armor, the reason that we're using this has a lot of poise. A lot of poise. And the main chest piece is going to be by far the most important piece of armor that you have on the character. It gives the most damage negation, it gives us the most poise. We don't care too much about like gloves and feet which don't give that much stats. So you can just put on anything. I put on Royal Remains and Sanguine Noble just because they looked cool honestly. It's not like they have the best stats ever honestly. Uh, then another important piece is going to be the Dragon Crest Grey Chill Talisman which enormously boosts physical damage negation. That's true, it actually enormously boosts physical damage negation. So this takes us from I think 20 to 30 physical damage negation without buffs and then with buffs we have like about 60. Which is good. And these other talismans are like, yeah, they're whatever. <laughs> so if you want to, you can find them and put them on. Uh, just showing you what I have here. I, I think I'm also gonna show the flasks. This is completely unnecessary. Okay. And also, of course, Mimic their Ashes plus 10. So how do you find all these items? Well, so first of all, I'm gonna show you how to get the Bloodhound Step. The best Ash of War, in my humble opinion, is the best Ash of War in the game. In the game, and it's so amazing uh, that it stacks with, um, or that you can use it at the same time as uh, either a s finger seal or uh, spell thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we just walk past this knight's cavalry. We're gonna run on these poison things. This, you've probably already seen somebody do this, so this is probably not news to you. But maybe you forgot about the fact that this guy gives you bloodhound step. And 40,000 runes, so you can also level up. I'm level 1 on this character. It's riding past here. And enemy fell, then we get the blood on step. Amazing! That's part 1. First thing we need to pick up, is what I'm trying to say. Next thing is we're gonna use a little bit of a skip. We're gonna go here to this uh, place called the Four Belfries. We're gonna use a key. Do you find this just above this place? Where we find this key. Uh, we're gonna travel to another location. We're gonna travel to. Nocron, but we're gonna go to Perfumer's Grotto and quit out of the game. And what happens then, you ask? Well, then when you load back into the game, you're in Nocron. And then you can get in there level 1, which is amazing. Because here is, of course, where we find both the Mimic tier and we're gonna find our amazing help. So take off all your items before you go in there, because you're gonna fight yourself. And if you have no items, uh, the copy of you is gonna have no items, and then you just put on whatever weapon you have. Hell and you get Tana lying around, you get Lava Tear, you get the Silver Tear masks. Now we have the mask, which gives plus 8 arcane. Then we're gonna get eaten up by one of these guys to get us to Volcano Manor. There's a couple of these things in various places. Uh, but that one was in Lucuria Academy, whatever that place is called. And we're using Bloodhound Step here a little bit. Run, 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 run. Now we're gonna pick up the weapon here, which we're gonna pick, or we're gonna, which we're gonna put Bloodhound Step on. So here we're running in, and then we're quitting out of the game, a douche. And then when we're back, we're gonna find the perfect spot. And it, oh, there it is, Chris. There, it's there. Oh, perfect. Don't, don't move. Turn around. Walk back. If you see his health meter, that means you failed. <laughs> means you didn't succeed with this trick. And then you go in and uh, you just equip whatever weapon you want to kill him with, and he can't move, so you just smack him down. <laughs> just doing the impression of the smack again. Okay, you get the Godskin Stitcher. Now you got that. Now you can put the uh, Ash of War on that. Now, where are you now? There was a little bit of a quick transition there. Now, you know the first place that you started off in the game? It's called the first step or whatever it's called, this uh, Lost Grace. Just go in here and use one Stone Sword key to get access to this place. And this is where we're going to pick up the Dragon Communion Seal. And if you have the Ash of War Bloodhound Step, uh, this place is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can just Bloodhound Step the entire way, essentially. Wait until this thing rolls up. And rolls down, and just blood on step, blood on step, blood on step, blood on step, blood on step. <laughs> and this knight there is, of course, the guy who drops the item, so we just want to lure him down. Gets killed by the um, whatever this thing is, chariot thing. And there we get the dragon of Now we're gonna get the armor, so we're gonna kill Commander Neil. This is a little bit later in the game. How do you get to this part? Well, progress with the story as per normal. Get to Lindel, clear these bosses. At this part, uh, at this point in the game, you should be strong enough. 
to do that. With the Dragon Community Seal, if you upgrade that to plus 10, you have Dragon Eyes. You should be able to clear the few bosses that are in your way for, uh, for getting to this part of the game. Then there's what I recommend. You shoot Nyal with a bow from this little <laughs> crevice here, and then you pick up his armor. That's how you get his armor. And it's gonna be, it's the veteran set there that you, found, that you saw. Now we're gonna pick up the Mimic tier. Um, yeah, uh, just so the, the first place that we started off in there is, of course, the place where uh, we defeated the Mimic tier uh, fight where we fought ourselves. If you're wondering, where, where are we now? That's the exact place that we are. Okay, we clear these guys up. I don't know exactly why I'm just drawn past them, but okay. Kind of drawn past them if you want. And you jump down here. Need a stone sword key here. And kill this guy. And then you open the chest, and then you have the mimic there. And I think that's all the items I'm gonna show, or I'm gonna show anything else. Let's see. In just one second. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how to form up to level 127. This is how I did it. Use Dragon Eyes. Again, Dragon Eyes. It's a good spell. Form these guys. Run around, run around. You get about 100,000 for every run. You do here. You run down and deal with the guys at the very bottom here also. You have 50,000, but if you continue, you get like 100. Oh yeah, I show you. I'm gonna show you that now. Good. I got it then. Good. Chris remembered. That's good. Okay, deal with these guys. And we go down. We clear up these guys. Not to waste mana. I can use the lightning bolt for efficiency. And then just... Wink on all these guys. These guys also give there are a lot of these guys here. They give a lot of experience. So clear these guys up. You should be on one level 127. And then just uh, complete the game or do whatever you like. 